Hi Leo, how are you doing? So let's have a look at your aspects. Now you've had the solar return and that's finished with. So a whole year to wait for your birthday. Hope it was a great birthday. So for Leo's, let's see what's going on today. What do Leo's need to know? What does Leo need to know? So let's have a look. Just use three cards here and then another three of another deck. Followed by a unicorn oracle. So, what have we got? Oh, look at this. <laughs> so, this is the very first of your journey, and it's Jack Cat. Jack Cat is obviously going to embark on the wonderment of this journey. It's quite interesting that Jack's journey goes up in the sky, it goes to that world beyond the higher self the divine love and your higher intuition it's going to be a rewarding journey so trust yourself now leo that with this new solar return that's just passed that you can embark on this wonderful journey don't take too much with you though less thoughts less really emotions from the past and just go with it believe in yourself because it's rags from riches the poverty of um, thinking small to the expansion of everything is possible if you only believe and make the journey. It's one small step that will lead you to your end result. And then you'll have to start again because <laughs> that's what life is about. So you've also got here the Six of Swords. This is Columbus discovering these new lands. Just as Jack's going to climb there, Columbus has discovered new species of animals and plants and cultures and all these things. So the Six of Swords for you is embarking on a new adventure to remove yourself from the past, just like Jack is doing. Jack Cat doesn't want to um, has it have his family in poverty he wants to help and do you know he had the intuition to do that he went with his heart just as columbus cat is doing here make the decision to feel and be inspired by your higher intuition to make this fantastic journey that's called your life what else is going on wow this is strong isn't it this is the knight of swords so the Knight of Swords here is disguising himself as a big lion to fight off the predators that may cause him damage, may cause, um, well, all sorts of things. But anyway, these big sea serpents, probably eels, um, <laughs> he has to fight them. Sort of, these are the thoughts that he has to fight. So when... Maybe you have to invest in time or a bit more money. The last drop of money that you've got, the last emotional, it's about squeezing it and really utilising it to have that positivity to make things work for you. So these decisions are maybe a little bit tough, but as long as you make them going forward to your higher good and the higher good of everyone around you, then this perhaps is going to be the right decision. So it's all about moving forward. You've got a knight moving. You've got the six of swords moving. So this is a double lesson for you. <laughs> so let's have a look further. What Leo's need to know. It's quite funny for Leo's, isn't it? So the cat here put a lion on, on its head. So that's Leo um, trying to disguise something else. So have a look at your, um, um, probably your where your Mars is in your natal chart. That's going to have um, an aspect that you need to look at. What house is your Mars in? And that's a decision-making opportunity. Right, so what else does Aries, uh, Leo, do apologise? <laughs> What does Leo need to know? Okay, followed by the unicorn. So, let's have a look. A fun look. You have the Empress. This is wonderful. 
So there's a lot of love to be gained when you aspire your knowledge into a higher trustworthy aspect. So transforming and growing into your spiritual journey and tapping into who you really are is going to bring great wealth of opportunity. So sit back, enjoy it and nurture who you are. This is very important today. So it really is about moving forward, finding the passion, finding the start. So you have the page of cups here. No, no, for, for, for the one person who's saying, I'm not drinking out of a toilet. Um, the Page of Cups is about exploring your emotions, just like the cat is exploring the fish that went down the toilet the other day. Where did that fish go? So there's an expansion, and there's also a lot of love here. So peace is very important um, you can see the toilet roll is finished as well. So that's an indication that it's fought the Eight of Swords, um, his mind. And now he's going into his heart. So put aside the uh, trapped mindset. Just go forward. And I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. I was going to say lick the bowl. <laughs> but don't. Lick the bowl of truth. So here you have the Queen of Swords. So it's quite apt that you have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Now, as you know, the Queen of Swords will overrule her Knight. So uh, the Knight takes action in the thought process. The Queen of Swords knows how to stop those negative thoughts or make new thoughts and aspirations. So you are perhaps going to touch into an emotional side. After all, Columbus has got his hand over his heart to discover the map of your mind and the decisions that have to be in place round about now. So trust yourself, please. Trust, believe and step forward and really embrace the newness of what Leo has to offer on your solar return. So what does the Unicorn Oracle advise you and support you today? What does Leo need to know today? Yeah. Okay, so you have leadership. So you have to lead yourself in emotions and thoughts now. You have to be like the Queen of Swords in a uh, ruling manner of sturdiness. But with you, it's like you have the softness of the Empress as well. So being firm in your decision in your healing way of moving forward is perhaps one of the best leaderships um, you can have. The power is within you when you aspire to really understand who you are. And even when you believe that you haven't got anything, you've got more than enough. The Knight of Swords is, is doing away with the poverty thinking and this leadership will lead you into exactly what you do want on a higher positive realm. Now, I do free um, live readings, so pop along. And I gave away four free Celtic Cross readings last night. Plus, you do get your questions answered for free. And I hope to see you soon. Lots of love to you all. And take care.